Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Our topic today is uh, the reincarnation. Many religions in the world starting from Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism and many anime religions they believe in reincarnation that means life continues in the form of cycles birth death and rebirth and people come back in some form again and again to this world and that sounds good i mean theosophical society also teaching this reincarnation in the west now almost 27% of people in the west believe that uh, somehow they will come back and uh, reborn in this world but you see folks there are some logical questions i would like to ask some of them might sound even uh, funny to you but they are logical firstly theosophical society actually did so many surveys and uh, hundreds of people even thousands came forward telling their stories of what they used to be in their past life you see everybody told the stories i used to be a friend of you see among uh, all these uh, stories i mean uh, people say well in my past life i used to be a friend of uh, napoleon bonaparte or in my past life i was um, queen elizabeth i was ruling over england mm, in my past life i was a friend of abraham lincoln in my past life i was um, plato i mean i remember writing republic um in my past life i i, I was uh, da vinci and uh, i i remember painting mona lisa all these stories i mean nobody is telling um i used to be a pig i used to be a dog barking at people and uh, i remember biting a person who came to our home i was a killer i remember killing people i mean nobody is telling these kind of stories see for the other problem folks is uh, why there is population explosion you see at the beginning of the last century the population of the world was 1 billion now it is over 6 billion people i mean where do the souls of these 5 billion people come from were they animals before if they were animals why are we not hearing any stories that they used to be animals and uh, so there is an explanation for these uh, 5 billion souls and thirdly you see if uh, reincarnation is a reality there should not be a list of ext- extinct species there should not be a list of endangered species because millions of people are dying every year and uh, some of them should be reborn as animals right and uh, thousands of them should be reborn as uh, uh these uh, into this list of endangered species and there should not be a list of extinct species but you see there is the, the list of extinct species is growing year after year here in india we have a rat temple in bekanur rajasthan and uh, the belief here is that uh, uh the grandparents of uh, the local people they transformed they were actually reincarnated as rats so there are thousands of rats in this temple and uh, we call it rat temple that's i mean that's fine i respect the belief but the problem is who wants to reborn as a rat i mean we are worshiping rats as gods but who wants to reborn as uh, rats and uh, these questions will linger upon our minds all the time so folks when we hear about reincarnation we also need to think about karma because karma and reincarnation are like uh, conjoined twins they go with each other ultimately we are paying for our karmic results in the next life that is if you have bad karma you will be have a bad life next next time when you reborn and if you have a good karma you will become a uh, uh, a, a person of high birth in the next life but you see folks karma is uh, a cruel doctrine you see gary jokov said 
that uh, the holocaust victims have a bad karma that means they were bombed gas bombed by hitler because in the concentration camps because they did something bad in their past lives the same thing here in india thousands of people die in road accidents and people simply say well their karma is bad they did something bad in their past life just cruelty folks well he got aids he got uh, cancer maybe he had a bad karma in his past life it's just cruelty and uh, people are treated uh, untouchables because in their past life they did the bad things and uh, in this life they were born as uh, untouchables so folks reincarnation is uh, i mean uh, if you think about it it is a very it looks logical but it's not we need to remember the bible says in hebrews 9 it is appointed unto man once to die and thereafter the judgment we need to remember that i mean we are ultimately accountable for our sins basically karma says or reincarnation says you need to pay if you do bad things in this life you have to come back and pay you see folks it, it is essentially saying pay 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 but the good news my friend is it has been paid the good news of the gospel is jesus paid for your sins and there is only one life folks all you can spend is just one life whether it is 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 years or 100 years just one life and thereafter you will enter into eternity heaven and hell and if your sins are not been forgiven you will go to hell my friend but the good news is jesus paid on the cross he said it is finished he paid for your sins and god is saying if you put your trust in jesus today your sins will be forgiven and you will be a new person and god will give you eternal life my friend i am not insulting anybody's beliefs here but i am telling the good news of jesus christ accept that free eternal life that god wants to give you and it is not the uncertainty where you are going in your next life but the certainty that you are going to heaven will come to your heart god bless you